Hi, it's Carol. I say bye-bye and I'll see you tomorrow, but it's not over until you see my dog, Toby. Hi, guys. It's Carol. How are you? I am good. I just got in from an excursion out of the apartment. Um, I had two comforters that needed to be washed, and they're too big to go in my washer that the apartment provides here. So I took them to a laundromat. <laughs> you know, I don't get out of the apartment much, and I haven't been to a laundromat in a long time. Uh, I had $20 in, uh, a $20 bill, and so I went, and I go in, and um, I asked the lady. I saw that they still take... Um, money not a debit card this is an older laundromat and uh <clears throat> so i told her i'd need change and so she pointed to these two change machines on the wall so i put my 20 dollar bill in there not even thinking that it was going to give me 20 dollars and quarters <laughs> that is a lot of quarters <laughs> oh my gosh so i had this huge heavy handful of quarters and uh, I said to her, I don't need this many quarters. Do you want to buy some back for paper money? And she said, yes. If you told me you had a 20, I would have done that. <laughs> so then I go over and put the comforter, one comforter in the big machine. They can hold one comforter. And uh, got that situated and went to put the liquid soap in the top. First of all, this... Uh, washer is pretty tall. It's not taller than me, but like up to here. Uh, and the place where you put the soap is on the top. So I opened that thing up and I went to pour the liquid soap in. And uh, I was holding the thing up with this hand and pouring with this hand and missed the hole. <laughs> and so it went all over my hand. Oh my gosh. I finally got the soap in the thing and wiped this hand off on the edge and put the coins in with soap all over them. Got that going. <laughs> and then I went uh, out to get the other comforter. And in that process, I got soap from this hand onto this hand. So now I've got two soapy, sticky hands. But I got it in the washer and... Um, Got the coins in there, got it started, and <laughs> then I went back out to the car because I didn't, I, I was going to film a video there while I was waiting on the washers to run. But my hands were covered in soap. So I went out to the car anyway, and Casey had left a water bottle in the car. So I thought, great, I can wash my hands off. So I poured water out of this bottle all over my hands. That didn't wash it off. It made it bubbly. <laughs> and then I didn't have anything in the car to wipe it off with. So Casey happened to have a huge envelope in the car. So I took that envelope and <laughs> wiped my hands off best I could. But my hands smell good and they are clean. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> and then um, I went to Dollar Tree. Let me show you what I got at Dollar Tree. Uh, I hadn't been to Dollar Tree in a long time. Uh, and of course I spent more in there than I intended to. But first thing I saw was this. See Casey? That is really cute. And I'm going to put that on the front door where we see it. And then I got a couple of Halloween cards and birthday cards. And then I got this. I'm going to make my sewing box. Uh, it'll probably be even too big for what I've got. But, uh, I buy these clip things for like potato chip bags and stuff, and they just disappear. don't know where they are, but we've got some more of those. And you know when I made that lemon cake, I looked and looked and looked and looked for a lemon squeezer. They had one, so I don't know if I'll ever make anything with that lemon again, but we've got one now for lemons and limes and things. And then somebody told me these were the best scissors she ever had. So I got a pair of those to have in the kitchen just to use for opening kitchen packages and things. Not, not for general purposes. Um, 
Casey told me my little Dollar Tree knife was getting dull, and I know it's because I put it in the dishwasher. But they had them, so I got three more, and I'll hand wash these, so maybe they won't be dull. And then, when I was looking up, uh, I looked on Pinterest for basic sewing equipment, and I, I knew I needed scissors, and I knew I needed pins. Um, but this side I went to said you need a, a clear ruler for quilt making and anything else. And these really cute little pink clips that clips fabric together. They were so cute. But that clear quilting ruler was like, I don't know, $6 or something. I got a clear ruler at Dollar Tree. It's not, you know, exactly like that, but it is good enough for me. It's going to serve the purpose well. And then those really pretty little plastic clips that they clip fabric together. They were high, too. They were a lot of money, I thought, for me. So I got these little bitty clothespins at Dollar Tree, and I think they'll work just fine. So I got 24 for a dollar. And if I want them colored, I can paint them. Okay, then um, I went to Walmart. So I'll show you what I got at Walmart. I got a pound of hamburger. I'll give this to you, Casey. And I got a package of strawberries because my oldest daughter's birthday is coming up. And Saturday, I'm, we're going to celebrate here. And I'm going to make her one of those strawberry cake rolls. So I've got strawberries. Let's see. Oh, they had hand sanitizer all over the place in Walmart. So I got a great big one. This is like five and some change. I don't remember what, but it's... A, it's 30 fluid ounces. But they had big bottles, little bottles. They had it all over. And I wasn't even looking for it. That was just what I saw on the end caps. Then, I can't find elastic suitable for making a mask anywhere. And uh, so I got headbands. They're very soft. And I can just cut them to the length I need. I got six and I think it was like three something. I don't remember, but not a whole lot anyway. I had looked at the headbands like this at Dollar Tree, but they weren't this big. I know I need, for each ear thingy, I need seven and a half inches. And it was, I took it back to where the rulers were, and it, it wasn't big enough to cut and get. I'd have to use one for each ear, and I thought I could do better. Um, I got another hand pump, so uh, I got Roma tomatoes because Casey and I are going to have taco salad today, and then, oh, they're still in the car, but watermelons were two for five dollars, uh, so that was great. I got this little thimble, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, I had looked at this, um, I looked at Joann's and Walmart and Amazon and somewhere else for one that was just like this except green. And in one place the same thing was $9.97 and one place it was $4.97. Well this one was cheaper than that. I, it was two something. And for what I'm going to do, that's plenty good. And because I know me... I got me a seam ripper. <laughs> and then my granddaughter loves JoJo Siwa. They had JoJo Siwa socks, so I got her these to stick in with her birthday package. And it was five something like, you know, basically six dollars. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pair of socks. So that was that. Now, let me tell you my story about making the cookies for after school yesterday. I made oatmeal raisin cookies. And I measured everything out before I started to make sure I had everything. And that was good. And I started creaming the butter and the sugar in the bowl you know, with my hand mixer. And uh, I was reading the directions. And while you're mixing it, you're supposed to add the eggs. I had the eggs already cracked in a bowl. 
And so I, with this hand, with my right hand, I was pouring the eggs in the bowl and with my left hand doing the mixer. And somehow I kind of moved the mixer over to so the eggs wouldn't go right in it and I dropped it. And so the beaters went up and all over the kitchen cabinets and me in the refrigerator. <laughs> and in the few seconds that took, I tried to grab it with this hand and this finger got in the beaters. It's not broken, but man, it hurt. And I thought to myself, this is exactly why Taylor says, Grandma, just don't go in the kitchen with that one of us. <laughs> that hurt. It did hurt. Uh, but I got oatmeal cookies made. And they were just coming out of the oven when my grandkids and my daughter-in-law got here. And they stayed about two hours, huh? And we ate oatmeal cookies, and we played Chinese checkers, and we played this game called Soggy Doggy. And in the middle of Chinese checkers, oh, my little grandson, he came home so excited and just bubbling over. He had such a wonderful day. But in the middle of playing Chinese checkers, he said, just a minute, and he went over to the couch and laid down and fell immediately asleep <laughs> like a log. <laughs> uh, so he got super tired out at school. Uh, he had a wonderful time. They got to take their mask off for recess. And during the day, they got to take them off at different times. And in the cafeteria, um, it was normal, except they had to leave a space in between each kid, like, you know, every other seating place. And so he had a good day. Taylor says she did not have a good day. But she did not want to go to school. She wanted to do the virtual learning. Uh, she had a time with bullies last year. And um, <laughs> so I was trying to get her to talk about school because she was just not enthused at all. And I said, so do you have any friends from last year in your class? And she told me, there's blah, blah, blah. And I said, oh, is that a friend of yours? And she said, no, that was a girl that picked on me all last year. <laughs> And her mom went like that. I remember her mother went to school and talked about that child a couple of times, how she was treating Taylor. But anyway, Taylor wants to do the virtual learning. Uh, the parents had the choice of having their kids on campus or doing the virtual learning. Honestly, I thought the majority of them would do the virtual learning because I would not have sent a child to public school. But I guess the parents all have to work or something because there were 25 kids in my grandson's first grade class and 22 in my granddaughter's fourth grade class. So evidently in those grades, they <laughs> didn't have a lot of kids staying home. Um, but they did have a good time. So first day of school is over with. Um, I still haven't found cotton thread. I can't order it from Amazon or Walmart unless it's a great big $30 spool. Um, so I'm gonna see if Casey will go to Hobby Lobby or somewhere and look for that for me. Because I have to have the cotton thread to make those bowl cozies. And uh, tomorrow my fabric should come. I'm real anxious. I'm gonna. I want to try to get it cut out tomorrow night if I'm not doing something else. And, uh, but I've got to find that cotton thread. So, I'll be, I don't know if I can call Hobby Lobby or a quilting place and see if I can find it that way. But anyway, I'm looking forward to the fabric coming. And that is about all I know for today. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. I got my Walmart receipt out to show you that Thimble was only two eighty eight. dollars My Seam Ripper was $1.27. They were a lot more online. Uh, the head wraps were six for $2.48. Uh, strawberries were $2.88. And the watermelons were two for $5. But I bought one pound of hamburger and I didn't realize I zapped it twice, but it's got got it on here twice.
I guess I will call up there and see if they will believe me that I only brought one pound home. That is annoying. Oh, when will I ever learn to check my receipt when I get in the car? Um, I'm going to get the five dollars in. 42 cents back that I paid for that one pound of hamburger. Okay. <sighs> I'll talk to you later. Hi. I just wanted to tell you real quick that I tried to call Walmart about my hamburger and nobody would answer the phone. So I got in the car, went back up there, and went to customer service. And I told her that it zapped twice and I only got one pound. She said, okay, I'll put it right back on your debit card. And she did. I was in and out real quick. So, yay, Walmart. Customer service is wonderful. All right, you guys. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.